wake up, wake up, wake up. It is the Mecca Media Morning Show. This is your girl, Char Johnson, on the scene. And if you haven't checked out my website, that's shilkcouture.site.square, go check it out so you can get your African wear. Matter of fact, let's talk about the events and the things that went on this past weekend. AkronHipHop.com was down at Lock 3 covering, yes, the only media outlet covering the 40th anniversary of the African American African Fest. Brother Hiram, I know this was enjoyable for you, even though it was work, but it was all about my blackest beautiful people. I thought you did an excellent job hosting the first annual Comedy Community Jail. Just give me a little of your highlights of what went on this weekend. Well, um, uh, first it was called the Community Comedy Jam, not the Comedy Community Jam. Well, hey, I made a, me a bit, joke. It's a little bit of uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a joke, but um, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was um dope. But before I give you, before I give you my take on what I um saw, um, this is your show. I want to talk more than you. You know, you, you hosted the Mega Media Morning Show today. Go ahead and you tell folks from, um from what we did the whole weekend, and and then I just fill in the blank. Okay, I have no problem with that. So before I get into all that. How about let's hit them with some inspiration of the day? Inspiration of the day. Hey, listen, don't forget, man. No matter how hard things happen, keep going. Because at the end of the tunnel, there is a pot of gold. I like that. And that pot of gold this weekend was being downtown at Lock 3. On Saturday, um, as they were setting up, I was excited. I really was. I was like, oh, I haven't been to one of these events in years. So I was very happy that uh, it was happening this year as the country was opening back up. But I was happy for us here in Akron celebrating our culture and for everyone to see and come out and have fun. Speaking of that, one of my highlights was I got to interview the mayor. And he said some interesting things that I thought was super dope. He even talked about um, our auditor, our city auditor here. What do you mean city auditor? The police auditor, Mr. Uh, Mr. Young. Uh, He talked about him, gave a little knowledge and insight um, on that. Um, He also uh, said some things that um, I didn't think that Akron or our city noticed. Um, I know some of the council council people here in in Akron, but I was impressed that the mayor uh, admitted that they do not do enough for our our community, the black community. So um, that was very interesting. Um, Another thing that I thought was super dope, when I walked around, when I got back later on that afternoon and was seeing all of the African garments, the books, I thought that was super uh, dope just for me to have so much of an abundance to look at and see. I'm telling you folks, if you wasn't there this year. That one um, tent with the um, with the African garb looked like a little mall. Yeah, it, it was, did. There was a lot of people in that one all day long. Yes. Yes, and she had some, be- she had some beautiful garments. Uh, they, they must have been, they, I think they were from the continent too. Yes, because yeah, um, was, you hear the accent. Yeah, different. you can hear the accent and 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 all of that. I I thought that was super dope. I I really did. Um, I know that we have a, a lady from Columbus that comes every year. Mm-hmm. Um, she talked with us. She let us know that um, due to the pandemic, um, she's no longer in a physical location. But she let it be known. Hey, I'm still doing this. I still got what you need. The incense she had was fire. She had soap. But, but she had like a five dollar pack of incense. She, it was and like, it did like a year worth. It was like eighty of a minute. Yeah, yeah. eighty to hundred. Yeah, eighty to hundred. Yeah, and put it all low. Yeah, five dollars. Five dollars. Then she had like a a million ones, big ones, the big long ones, for like ten dollars for a bag. Yeah, yeah. So it it was 
It was very interesting. So that's what happened on Saturday. Um, the community jam. The community coming jam was on Saturday too, right? Yes, it was on Saturday. The, oh, speaking of that, I have to say big up to our community, our own Darnell Mitchell. Uh, he opened the show. We had Tank with the C, and we had uh, Tone Payne from Kentucky. Those, he's those, not from Kentucky. He's from Akron. That was where the hell you got Kentucky from. He's from Akron by way of Houston. Texas? Yeah. Made another joke, you guys. I, <laughs> I think you ought to put me on the next show. I think I need to do the next show. I got jokes for days. Jokes okay. for days. Okay. Um, and then, you know, they did an excellent job. They also did... Uh, community karaoke. Huh. Did you notice that? Oh, T- uh, yeah, Timbo did. Do- was that on Saturday? That was on Saturday. Was right after the comedy that show. That was right after the comedy show, and it was a uh, nice. Uh, we had some talented people here in Akron. Uh, I enjoyed listening to uh, the different singers. Yeah, so, I, I didn't realize that what was happening until yeah. after the fact. Yeah. I was like, boy, who they book these people? And it was like a little American Idol on the stage, and I thought that was genius. Since um, see, I know a little bit of the backstory, um, when this thing was put together, uh, first off, the city wasn't going to do it. Okay. Then they knew that hey, we got to do it. You know, they don't. They didn't even know the city was going to open up like it is now. So uh, the whole thing was we need local talent, and to pull it off with local karaoke, which came up to be like. Akron and Idol, you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> you get the number one karaoke DJ in the city with Timbo. Yes. Then you get uh, hooked up with AkronHipHop.com to bring in local comedians. Yeah, we put that together. You know what I'm saying? Um, big ups to the team for helping that out. You know what I'm trying to say? But the dope thing is um, it was all local. And it was going to be that way for the whole thing until they opened it up. And then we had some national stuff happen. I'm sorry. Oh. No, but I mean, uh, people need to know. Um, li- hey, like I said before, if you missed it this year, you got to make sure you come and check us out on next year. So that is my entertainment. And you know, we get all our entertainment from we put a newspaper online.com. Now, I want to talk about the business of the week. Okay, so. You have all these sponsors that help put on the African Fest. So, I want to... Oh, wait, wait, we didn't even say nothing about the National Band Sunday. We told you, I mean, uh, Sunday. Oh, on Sunday. Yeah, oh, you confun- the whole Sunday. On Confunction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Miss uh, Ebony Red Soul was doing her thing. She did that Saturday. With a female band. Yes, she did have a whole female band. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, you guys make sure you check out uh, the visual because you know Brother Hiram my King got you on that visual. Make sure you uh, go ahead and go to Akron Hip Hop TV and subscribe. And like Miss Calhoun says, Miss African Fest herself. Like, share, like, share. <laughs> each one, teach one. Make sure when those videos come up, you like and share, 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 and share. Yes, because you'll get to see basically everything that happened, considering that your black press, AkronHipHop.com, the reported newspaper online, was on the scene all weekend long. So I want to give a big shout out to all the sponsors that, that participated in this. And they had a shirt that I thought was dope. And on the back of it, it said, Wisdom does not live in only one house. I thought that was super dope. Oh, that is a dope problem. And so, um, some of the sponsors they had um, on there, uh, um, Malika, I think it's M-A-L-A-I-K-A, so if I mispronounced it, uh, I'm sorry. You yeah, had... Yeah, uh, that's, the, that's the, the Hindi symbol and everything. Yeah. These are the sponsors. Oh, they got uh, Eileen Shapiro, uh, the All-American uh, City uh, of Akron. You got uh, e- Equatus Health, the ADM board. You have the BEBC. Guess what? AkronHipHop.com is on that t-shirt. The, N-A- the NAACP. NAACP. 
That is so foreign to you. I don't know why you can't pronounce it. <laughs> and First Grace. And there's a lot of other uh, sponsors that's on there. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Mr. Michael uh, Irby and to Professor Calhoun. They did an excellent, excellent uh, job. And for it to be uh, the way that it was, I believe that it was an excellent turnout uh, with our city coming out uh, participating in the African Fest. And the, and just a little note. It's more about it's more than about coming out and uh, seeing the different entertainment and things because they had a talent show for the youth. We had a, a young lady that uh, I believe we got another star coming out of uh, right? uh yep, she won some money that's uh, coming out of Akron. Um, but I seen the most beautiful thing uh, yesterday. I seen so many uh, black businesses. I seen a lot of people with a lot of black merchandise. We are a uh, uh, we are people who need to support one another and learn from one another. I thought it was super dope. Uh, a lot of the books and things that I seen. So I had I, I learned a lot just going around looking at stuff and talking to different people and being a part of the show. So um it's more Yeah, you was on the stage. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more than just just coming out and enjoying it. It is our culture and celebrating our culture. The city is celebrating, celebrating our, our culture. Yeah. So I believe that we need to participate when the city or anyone is celebrating our culture and we should come out and show up and show out not just for particular things but for everything and show full support so yes with that i'm going to uh let hiram tell you about his little highlights and then we're gonna get out of here well it was pretty dope and everything hold on move this i don't want you to drop i'm not making the noise and everything but i think it was dope um from uh um us being out there as they were setting up, okay, we, we do that every year to ensure the community that the African Fest is going on. Because um, for some reason, it's always a threat of rain on the first day. It seems like that all the time. So we get out there and, and, and do a, a video correspondence and send it out to the community through our platform, via our platform, let people know, even if it's snow, goddammit, we're going to be in the building, the African Fest is going to happen. Um, and to, just to see the, the people, even in the rain as they were setting up, smiling and just happy, you know, to be out there. That is always dope. Um, all the people that I've seen, they gave me a pound, gave me some love, what up twin and all that. Big up to each and every person. Even big up to the people that when I was making my beeline trying to get you somewhere and you know, people were yelling, what up twin? I gave you the, the head nod. I didn't mean no disrespect. I was just on the move. The mayor is back there. I had an interview. Or Marco, I mean Marco Somerville was back there. Um, some of the stars and stuff like that. So um, I was working. That's what I wanted you guys to know. I was working. I was not trying to um, not give nobody my full attention for a quick conversation or nothing like that. But so if you know me, you know I was working, and the videos would bear with it. But all in all, man. Everything was everything was dope. I was glad I got the call from Brother Michael Irby and everything. And Miss um, Calhoun, they made it happen. Big ups to them. Big ups to them. Matter of fact, to my understanding, Michael said he's looking for some new people to join their board. Um, get in contact with them for the African American Cultural Association. Look look them up and, and try to get involved to help with some what he said new blood into the um, association so they can keep this thing going and on and on and make it unique. Um, the days of the um, sand pile is gone. We did that. Now it's at the lock three and it's been there. Um, it's a new day, it's a new gear. So Akron, Ohio, we here. <laughs> new day, new gear, 
Akron, Ohio. We are here. So don't forget to subscribe to Akron Hip Hop TV on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when the videos are come up. Visit shilkcouture.square.site. That's sharjohnson.com too. Or you can go to sharjohnson.com and let us know that you got you a piece of African gear. And with that, if you don't know, this is not reality TV. And this is not reality radio. This is reality. And when you know better, do better. 